All right. So today we're Today we are uh, doing an apron uh, for Donna and I've already br brought the image into our Sawgrass editing software and I think I have it ready to go so the, the printer's on and I have the large paper mounted in there uh, the th uh, 11 by 17 I believe it is so we're going to make a larger image on, on the apron than we normally would on a shirt so let me see if I can get this thing printed here so we'll have a, a transfer sheet okay it's getting ready to print sometimes you have to fool around with them a little bit in the, the um, frame that you make where you're going to place the graphic in the, in the uh, software it has to be large enough uh, to accommodate the graphic and then you may have to increase the size of the graphic to fit the frame so you've got, you've got to fool around with it a little bit let's see if I've got this one ready to go it's coming up and I hope I don't have to tinker with it but that's all part of what we do. I think it's all part of what everybody does. It's uh, they're involved in uh, creating something. So I had to change the setting to not use the recommended settings from the from the uh, sawgrass, but, but rather use my settings, which is what I just did, and that seemed to work out. So we're going to. Press the print button and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out over here on the, on the printer. We have the heat press. The heat press is, uh, is all ready to go. How do you like my hat? Huh? <laughs> the ears on the top, I love that. The ears. So I'm looking at the heat press and it's, it's set and it's, um, Four hundred degrees. It's waiting for heat up all the way, and then this is the this is the apron that we're going to be pressing off. So of course we have to get all the wrinkles out of it. All the lint and all that kind of stuff. Make sure it's nice and clean.
not happy with that print printout, so I'm going to try it again here. Looks like it might have jammed. So, we'll go to the printer, we'll open it up. Sure enough, <laughs> there's paper in there. All right, goodbye. Set down. We put a new piece of paper in there because the last one jammed. My fault. That sounds better. That sounds like it's printing. Oh my goodness. I guess it's going to rain. Just heard some thunder. I always like to see what the, the transfer looks like before we actually put it on the fabric. I see it. Looks good. Okay, so. All right, let's see what camera we're on here. Here it is coming off of our sublimation printer. I'm going to put it aside here for a little bit. And we're going to iron the shirt, the, uh, the apron. <laughs> iron the apron and get all the wrinkles out. And we're going to move forward. Now something like an apron is a little tricky. So you've, got, you've got all these you know, straps, ties, hanging around, hanging out. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to print this apron. Maybe sideways. And have the straps hanging off the edge. Well, maybe not. Maybe Still fussing with it. Okay, <laughs> be patient.
Okay, I think I'm finally ready to uh, press it, get all the wrinkles out. About 10 or 15 seconds. Should do it. 10 or 15 seconds, and we'll take it out. Take a look at it. This is our transfer sheet. I'm going to cut the excess margins slash paper off of it. Maybe don't need. That will help me position it. Also, we don't want to see those press lines either, so we'll cut it a little bit closer to the actual image. And I think get rid of the excess borders. Okay, almost finished. One more to go. Then we'll be pressing at 400 degrees for 35 seconds. pieces of tape on this so it doesn't move around on us okay. this is this is special heat resistant tape we use it when we're making mugs to hold the paper on because the mugs get really hot you can also use it on an application like this where you just want to secure something. Okay, so this is the scary time where the rubber meets the road. seconds six seconds five four three two one up it comes clap of thunder at the same time pretty dramatic okay sheet comes off and then we let's see what we have underneath here that looks, that looks pretty good Pretty good. Hot, hot, hot. But here it is. Looks pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you can order aprons from us on our. Etsy shop and it doesn't have to be this image any of the images that you see on our shop that are part of our crazy lady series can, can be put on an apron or a book bag tote bag I should say 
You like that? I hope she likes it. Hanging up here. It's not wet, but it's hot. It's very, very good. Okay, mission accomplished. So that's how we make an apron. And that one has has the letters Deco Deco Cats Deco Cats on the on, underneath the image because the the style of artwork is Deco style. So that's why they're called the Deco Deco Cats. So I guess that's about it today. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry we had uh, a little time in between where nothing was going on. And it was because the printer was jammed. <laughs> I'm sure you've all experienced that before. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do another shirt. And that'll be a little later today. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.